Social worker Connie Going faced a daunting challenge, placing Taylor Diaz with a permanent family. After two failed placements, where Diaz was returned each time, Going remained steadfast in her belief that there was a right home for him. Despite the setbacks, she refused to give up on him. Going, who had dedicated her career to finding homes for children in need, held a firm conviction. Every child is adoptable. There's a family for every child, she shared with CBS News. At 50 years old, Going had successfully placed over 1,000 children with families in the Tampa Bay area, demonstrating her commitment and expertise. In 2003, Diaz, along with his sisters, was in need of foster care due to their parents' struggle with drug addiction. A local news station featured the siblings in a broadcast segment, hoping to find a permanent family for them. They were soon adopted by a family that initially welcomed them with open arms. However, the joy was short-lived for Diaz. His new parents decided to return him to the system, believing he had anger issues. They chose to keep his siblings but brought Diaz back. This marked the beginning of Diaz's tumultuous journey through the foster care system. He moved from group homes to various foster families, each time hoping for stability. Eventually, Going found another potential long-term family for him. Yet this placement too did not last. The new family reported difficulties with Diaz's behavior, particularly his anger, which he himself recognized. Reflecting on his experiences, Diaz acknowledged his role in the repeated rejections. I was just so mad because I thought that they weren't going to keep me, he confessed. He had acted out, trying to test his new parents and push their boundaries, which he now understood as a mistake. It was always somewhat my fault, but I didn't realize that when I was growing up, he admitted. Despite the setbacks, Connie Goins resolve never wavered. She continued to work diligently to find a suitable family for Diaz, holding on to the belief that somewhere out there was a family who could provide him with the stability and love he needed. Her commitment to Diaz and countless other children in similar situations reflected her deep dedication to her work and her unwavering faith in the possibility of finding each child a loving home. Diaz's journey through the foster care system, filled with challenges and moments of self-realization, was a testament to his resilience. Each failed placement was a step toward understanding himself and what he needed from a family. Connie Going's relentless efforts and belief in the adoptability of every child were crucial in navigating this difficult path. Eventually, the right family would come along for Diaz, one that would provide the stability and support he had been seeking. Until then, the persistence of social workers like Connie Going was instrumental in keeping hope alive for children like Diaz, who deserved a chance at a loving and permanent home. Connie Going, with her deep understanding of the emotional scars that come from years of neglect, had always grasped the complexities of Taylor Diaz's behavior. When you feel you're not lovable and someone is trying to love you, that's a pretty scary thing, she said. Despite her empathy and professional dedication, Diaz had once again found himself back in her office in need of a foster or permanent family. This time, however, Going knew that she couldn't continue as his social worker. Her decision wasn't born from a lack of commitment or belief in Diaz's potential. Instead, it came from a profound sense of empathy and a realization that she could offer him more than just professional support. All I could think about was how he was feeling and how he was blaming himself again, Going said. This emotional response led her to a transformative decision. She would become Diaz's parent. After years of searching for the right home for Diaz, Going came to a powerful conclusion. That was me, she realized, acknowledging that she could provide the love and stability Diaz so desperately needed. By doing so, she would transition from being Diaz's social worker to being his mother. In a heartwarming turn of events, 10 years after Diaz first entered the foster care system with his siblings, he finally found his forever home with Going and her two biological daughters. The transition wasn't without its challenges. Diaz's old habits and insecurities resurfaced as he struggled to adjust to his new life. He go, I'm leaving. I hate this, going recalled. And I'd be like, I'm not sending you away, Taylor. And he would look over at me, take his backpack off, and head back in. 
Despite these initial struggles, Diaz began to feel like he truly belonged. By September 2013, a few months after his adoption was finalized, Diaz's outbursts had diminished, and he started to embrace his new family life. I'm like yeah, this is where I belong, he said, reflecting on his newfound sense of belonging. For the first time since his entry into the foster care system, Diaz felt secure enough to express himself freely, knowing that going would always be there for him. She knows my worst side, and she still cares about me and still loves me, Diaz shared, highlighting the deep bond that had formed between them. As time went on, Diaz, now Taylor going, continued to flourish. He graduated from high school in the spring of 2018 and joined the army. He also considered becoming a police officer, demonstrating his commitment to serving others. Going's remarkable journey didn't end with Diaz. In 2013, she once again made headlines, this time as the caseworker for 15-year-old Davian only. Davian, an orphan, had famously made a public plea at a church, asking for a family. His heartfelt request went viral, leading to an overwhelming response from those wanting to adopt him. As Davian's caseworker, Going was likely involved in fielding some of the thousands of inquiries that poured in after his plea. Although Davian was initially placed with a family in Ohio, the match wasn't ideal. Despite the challenges, Davian's search for a family brought him back to the person who had been a constant support in his life, his social worker. In April 2015, Davian only formally became Davian Only Going, officially adopting Going as his mother. Reflecting on this milestone, Going told People magazine, he always felt like my child, but we finally made it official. We're so excited. This marked another chapter in Going's extraordinary career, showcasing her unwavering dedication to finding loving homes for children in need. Through her work, Going has demonstrated that with compassion, perseverance, and a deep understanding of the challenges faced by children in foster care, it is possible to make a profound difference in their lives. Her story is a testament to the transformative power of love and the impact of believing in every child's potential to find a family.